How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Let's Play Dragon Fable series and today we will be continuing on the next part of the Book 3 Tomic Saga. So in last week's episode we actually played as Envy from one of the quests. That was pretty fun uh, playing as Envy but I do have to admit that the quest was a little bit too long for my liking since Envy really only came with two skills. Either give us more skills to, end, uh, to play with as envy so that you know it won't be so boring every single battle spamming the same two skills or you know make uh like just cut out like uh like two to three battles in between i think that would have made the quest a little bit more enjoyable next up we are going to the next one which is the navigator so we should be playing as ourselves this time we're missing one more crew member so let's see who else do we need now we're almost ready. We just need to find one more member of our crew. Perhaps the most important one. More important than the captain? Mazura hasn't sailed the deep void. Neither have I. We need someone to guide us. We need a navigator. Any ideas? No. I'm hoping a visit to the priestess Elysia will help us find someone though. Ooh, so all the way to Sun Breeze Grove? Okay. Hail priestess. Why so formal so evil? A friend of Let's Play is a friend of mine as well. Elysia, how are you? I'm doing well. Elucidas and I were discussing the possibility of mentoring some young creations. What brings you and your friend to visit? We are building a ship to send to the deep void. We need a navigator. You'll find Decadia around the edges of the void, but no creations of Decadia has that to venture into the deep void. At least none that have ever returned. There are rumors though. Rumors? I just received a new shipment of tea from Karina in Hunter's Paradise. Bah, Hunter's. Yes, well, some fellow who has seen better days is at the inn in Hunter's Paradise. He's been ranting about his lost magic and power. How he walked the void itself until he was in prison. It might just be the Morgrimberry juice. But it might also be what you're looking for. Thank you, Elysia. It's worth checking out. Oh, hurry, friends. With how Karina was talking, I think your query might be attracting the wrong kind of attention. Okay, so who is this exactly? Wait. Something, something is wrong. What, it looks like the normal creepy words to me. It's so quiet, I can't even sense soul threats. Everything is dead? No, things are still alive. Their soul threats have been taken. Is How is that possible? I don't know, but I think we're about to get a closer look. Oh. Okay. Soulless wood. Huh. Okay. This is all... A little bit creepy and disturbing at the same time, if you ask me. But then again, you know, Book 3 are getting into the very mature themes and Book 3 has quite a lot of those, okay. The Comic Saga being one very fine example as you guys will see later. So you can see here quite early on, we're already getting a little bit of a teaser as to uh, what might be in store for us. Uh, look, at, look at that. It's just something about them that seems a little, I don't know, more creepier than usual. I think that that would be the right word to use. Done. Oh, Soulless Fury. Oh, a little bit of a bug or glitch there. Yeah, so it's now frozen. Okay. Oh, okay. And yeah, for some weird reason. Uh, is it is that intended? Because it's Soulless? I don't really know. Maybe Dove or Burly would like to look into that. Okay, Hunter's Paradise, this is the right place, right? Oh, okay, can't avoid this guy. So Hunter's Paradise should be our destination, but who do we look for or what are we supposed to be looking for? Some guy, right? Oh, okay. That's um that's an interesting animation, don't think I've seen that before. Okay, left. Honestly, I have no idea where to go. I kind of remember the layout of Hunter's Paradise, but uh, I don't know who or what I'm looking for exactly. So, yeah, just exploring. I, I know this is the place where you do the, uh, the item hunt or something like that. No? Can't go there? Okay. Okay, you can't go to the left side either. Yes, it, everything is on this side, okay. Solar shroom. 
there's enough power and knowledge to guide you through the void, the navigator. Yeah, it doesn't really tell us. So we are aimlessly looking for some guy who has enough power to take all their souls. And I guess we'll know who the person is once we meet them. Yeah, this this has to be a bug of some sort. The others, the other like uh, creatures, they are moving normally, whereas this avian fury is just stuck there. Yep. Hit upwards. Oh. Ooh, deep dark hole. She can tell you what the future holds. Nope, can't go in this room. Yes, for some reason the background here is still the background of the bottom floor. Maybe they should work on changing that. I think that'll be nice for a little bit better continuity. Not a big deal obviously, but you know, uh, just be better for uh, storytelling in general in my opinion. Can't enter this room as well. This room... Okay. Oh. So that's who we are looking for. Well. Oh, it's the greatest, the greatest. How dare they leave? They will rule the day they deserted me. You. Well, it's all your fault, you are incredibly woo-headed Lumox. Your moronic ma machinations ruined, ruined me. I was omnipotent. I was the most prodigious mage of all time. And you, you, you had to destroy it. What? When the judgment wheel was destroyed, my wish, my destiny was destroyed with it. My magic, my power, my army of chaos weaver is gone, and I ended up back in prison, studied by the rose, until until they concluded I was mortal. But but you're still a chaos weaver, the weakest chaos weaver. Law is unfair. It's a cruel, barren planet. Not even the greatest mind generations can hold an army without power. Now I'm useless, trapped in this feeble mortal coil, doomed to a life of mediocrity. I wouldn't say you're useless. You come with us. What will you have me do so, Weaver? Destroy more priceless artifacts? In your quest for redemption? Boring. SPDF has destroyed enough to fill the void. What do you know of the void? What do I know of the void? Its power was nothing. Nothing compared to my own. You might take a show. I let and flew through the winds of the void. Do you want to go back? Back? <laughs> the laugh. And how do you propose to get back there, so Weaver? On the back of a void dragon? Back one of the more powerful Chaos Weavers for a taste of the Age of the Abyss, you'll never make it true. We have a ship, and we need a navigator. <laughs> a ship? Oh, you ignorant fools. Please tell me you have a pirate crew. You want to venture into the depths of the void on a ship crewed by pirates? We created the most protected ship in all of law. It has a tritio crusted hull with soul spun sails, defended by gnome tech. Forget him, he's right, he's weak and powerless, worst of all, he's afraid. Afraid? I fear nothing so evil, not even the spectre of death that awaits you in the deep void. Don't think I don't know what you're doing, you dare to bait me, lure me in like a fish on a hook? I'll come along just to laugh as the winds of the void tear your flesh from your bones. Well, we did get baited pretty hard there, and you navigate? Fine. Yep, he got baited. <laughs> hmm, capturing Val didn't go exactly as planned. But it doesn't matter, I still got all of the humans. Ooh, uh oh. He walked right into a trap or what? So this is the Moglinberry Cider Cake. The Moglinberry Cider Mug. Okay, uh, I guess it's uh, alright for cosmetics, but I don't think you ever want to use that. And there's the Void Cider Weapons here as well. Ooh. Okay, so just recolored purple, I guess, and some weapons. The weapons look pretty nice. Pony cider cake. You can pass this because you don't need another cake. Already got the best one. Next one, human element. Replay as NV again. It's green. Or oh, Aspa, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we do. Ah, uh, this is frustrating. Toss this husk away. Give me another one, as you wish. Oh. Ah, another failure. What am I doing wrong? It worked before. Why not now? Green, red. Tell me what are your human elements like? Caring, wise. Hmm. What do you remember the humans have made you from felt during the extraction? Fear. I need to think. Leave me. Go do whatever you things like doing. What are you thinking about Red? What is our purpose? 
What do you mean? We serve our creator. This is our purpose. Yes, but what if what he's doing is wrong? How can you say that? He is the creator. Everything he's doing is sacred. I wouldn't say sacred. Still, he did create us. We must obey him. He ripped essence from living people, left the hustles to rot, and gave us life in the process by combining the human element with monster soul threads. Our existence is wrong. Doesn't that strike you as a little messed up? No, he's the creator. Obey him. Of course you say that. You're the newest. We were longer with him. We know what he's capable of. Green, you've been quiet this whole time. What is your stand on this? I remember. Huh? I remember my previous life. I mean previous life of the person that was used to create me. Why do you bring that up now? He had a daughter that he loved the most in the world since his wife died. Is she an orphan or am I her father now? Would she love me? Minions. I think I know how I can... How can I success in the extraction and have some fun in the process? I think I know how can I success in the extraction and have some... Okay, there's definitely some typos here. Release some of the prisoners and stand aside. No need to secure the exits. They have nowhere to run. Okay, so what do we do? Spikes. Spikes again. Blast. Yep, we are wrecking them. Obviously, right? Yeah, there's a piece of cake. This guy's a bit more help. Okay. I don't know why do I enjoy this so much. Now bring me the most terrified human and let's see if that works. Oh, fear. Okay, okay. Yes, finally. Now green. Give me a monster soul track, quick. Which one? I don't care, just pick one. She's beautiful and almost perfect. Red green, take. Hmm, beige. And I explain to her what's going on. She'll be a valuable asset. Marvelous work, master. I know, it's time to begin phase 2. Blue, fetch me the soul threads. Which one's master? The ones labeled Tomics. Oh boy. A soul trap brown labeled Tomics. They come in here. Honorable mention. Wait, what? Last place in the Duck Hunt competition. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I'm gonna skip this. Uh, we are back to being a rogue, I guess. So we'll continue as a rogue without a dragon for the next quest, I guess. Hopefully, nothing too difficult. Yeah, that's the annoying part. Every time you play as uh, some other class, instead of going back to like the class that you have equipped before that, they give uh, you get brought back to your base class or your original class, whatever it was, okay? that you have saved. It's not even whatever you have saved. Sometimes for certain quests, it brings you back to your base class. Can uh, And this has been in the game ever since the game started. So if Dove and Verli, if you guys are listening to this, I'm wondering if it is possible for, you know, these quests that uh, let us play as a different class, for us to go back to our originally saved or originally equipped class uh, after you leave that quest. Otherwise, it's very I was tedious to re-equip everything again, especially if the class isn't, you know, something that you can carry around in your inventory, just saying. Okay, next up, Void Ship. The ship nearest completion, it's time to board. Okay, what now? You can't set sail just yet. Oh, come on, talk. No, we're finishing up the ship's void drive as they be calling it. Okay, so we just wait around. Void drive, huh? How do I find it? Vietnamese cabin. Ooh. Oh, guys. This has been around for so long. We quite a lot of as a guest. Personal quest. When will we see this? Chaos Whisperer. Come on, and this one. And then we have Vietni as a guest, Arachna Alchemy. Arachna Al Arachna Al Alchemy. Yeah, whatever this is called. Yeah, do you think this could unlock like a new type of potion? What do you guys think? I mean, they did something with Bart, right? Something interesting. Maybe you could do something uh, with Vietni's Arachna Alchemy as well. Oh, and then we have this guy, uh, Yashta, right? So, ooh, the good. 
glowing stuff is here. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do the quest. So, yeah. Like, when will we ever see all those stuff come to life? It's been so many years, man. I think it's been almost 10 years since the Atomic Saga wrapped up, right? Has it been 10 years yet? Close, right? Y'all cab it. Oh, wait, what? We can set hometown on the void ship? Okay, I did not know that. Oh, that is cool. Vel's cabin. Uh, okay, I guess he doesn't want to be disturbed. Okay, wait, so where are we supposed to go now? Wait, what? Okay, hold on a minute. Is this not a proper quest or what? Am I... Did I miss out something? Mazurex, Kevin? No? Oh, no. Hello? You know what to talk? White paw, blah blah blah, no? Okay, what's inside here then? Bell Tales Legacy. Okay. But we go up here. Uh no, back to the wait, this is the same place. Oh wait, what if we go here then? Let me bright purple. There we go. And when can we invite this guy as a guest as well? A technomancer guest would be so cool guys. Questers. Oh, another one where Requires to unlock him as a guest. Yeah, that'll be so cool. Dang. Uh, Mazurek, no. Yashta, no. Okay, guys. So I guess uh, you don't really need to board the ship or anything. Yeah, you just go and do the next part of the quest. There's so much unexplored and uncompleted stuff on the void ship it has so much potential hopefully they uh once they bring book 3 to an end i'm thinking if maybe they can revisit this you know as part of the side story stuff after all i think dove and verdi were already like fully on board the team when they uh did this whole thing so yeah it'll be nice to see a continuation of it i think that'll be cool and of course flesh weaver come on 2023 year of flesh weaver please okay uh Wait, am I supposed to do something? The Codex? Let's do this quest. I need more soul chats. The process is too slow. Master, I found a way. Finally, some good news. There was a note, or what looks like an official letter of some sorts, in one of the books scattered across the library. Well, I assume it was a library. Hard to tell if all these buildings mostly destroyed. Get to the point. Time must have erased part of the text, but I managed to put it together. Your fault, Adui. I assume this note was addressed to this person. The gathering of five will no longer stand your... This is faded. It will be executed based on your actions and your codex will be taken from you. The rest is unreadable, I'm afraid. I fail to see how they show me a way to alter the, the Nungak core. The part about the codex, it piqued my attention. So I started looking through the rest of the books, trying to find if it was mentioned anywhere. And it was. People who inhabited and most likely built this place were all branded with the codex. The book does not describe what it looked like, only that it was crucial in attuning with Nungak. When one person broke the law or defied this gathering of five in any way, their codex was taken from them. And so deep within the temple of Altar. We are inside this very temple. Do I look like I care about the history of this place? Do I? Tell me. No? No, I don't. You could have just told me that the way to modify the core is under this building instead of yapping about this place's law. Please forgive me, master. <laughs> is beach ready? She should be already... She should already be on the ship. Well hidden. Good. Rani is my eyes. She'll be my ears. I'll need to know when they are departing. Gather the others. Let's look for this codex. Oh, Rani is a spy? Okay. Ooh, not doing a lot of damage here. Why? Or maybe we just didn't crit. Yeah, they don't do a lot of damage to us as well. So this should overall be another very, very easy quest line to walk all over as, as far. But 
Uh, it's gonna be tedious, yeah. Look at how many turns I need to kill one guy. Come on. Deck of your guard. Oh god. Yeah, they are literally doing no damage to us, but uh, look at how freaking long we are going to take to kill them. Big damage, come on, crit. Oh my god, okay, you got three of them now, god damn it. Let's try and take out one first. Oh, you should try to look at the other ones first. Never mind, never mind. Can you try? 660, okay. Ah, oh, 57, damn it. Okay. You know what en Espa or NV needs? Some multi-hit skills, yeah, that'll be really helpful. Bye-bye, overkill. Ooh, okay, the death animation is quite cool. Spikes, please crit. Nice. Wait! Not dead. 24? Last guy. Yeah, I didn't do this in the best way possible, but whatever. Okay, void elemental. Two of them. Oh boy, this will be fun. Bit. 82 health, come on. Thirty-four, really? What's the point of it being a mana dot? I don't understand. They should just turn it into a H HP dot. Finally, the end is very near. Spikes. Laser Nice One more, there we go Oh, three of them again Okay Four elemental Wait. Oh yes, we got one Get the other one, 660. Crit. Oh, 30 health. Come on. It's so annoying. Okay, overkill, but whatever. Spikes again. Nice. Ooh, that was some really nice damage. Can we crit and kill this guy? Oh my god, tree again. Crit. Ah, no crit. <coughs> Alright, we'll see if we can do the laser crit on this other guy and one shot him. Probably not. Yeah, 24, come on. Both left with a sliver of health. Oh, that is so annoying. I'm gonna use spikes on this healthier guy so as not to waste it. Come on, attack. Come on, laser crit. Let's go, let's go. Laser crit. Nope. Oh, that was bad. 
Does this guy avoid resist or, or evil resist or what? Oh, it's not doing a lot of damage. Okay, never mind. Onward. Another one. Okay, at least it's a single enemy. Yeah, for some reason the evil beam, sometimes it does 300 plus, sometimes it's only like 100 plus. I have no idea why. Oh, are we finally at the end yet? Decadia Elders, okay, this should be the final one. Oh, okay, it has a special move again, right? 140 defenses, minus 50 damage. Right? Oh god, that's so bad. Voided, uh, the dot. Oh my god, the dodge. Fifty one. Come on, please just die. There we go. What is this? I don't know, Master. I didn't find anything that would describe this being. You, can you speak? What are you? Be token, me thy name. What? Be token, me thy name. Can you understand him, Green? I think he wants to know your name, Master. Uh, my name is Aspa. Agnes. Are you able to speak in common language? I am. Good. Do you know what? Can I find the codex? I am. You are the codex? Yes. Hmm. Blah blah blah. The gathering of fire. Blah blah blah. Branded with the codex. Blah blah blah. A tuning. Blah. I'm boring. Let me be blunt with you. I need to be branded with the codex in order to alter the Nungak core. I'm acting on behalf of the gathering of fire. The core is in a grave danger and only I can fix it. You are lying. Lying is a crime punished by death. Poof. <laughs> As if I can die. What if I tell you the truth? Will you ban me then? Yes. Then let me restate my previous request. I need to be branded with the Codex in order to alter the Nungak core. My dearest friend is going after me. I plan to kill him. And if my plan fails, the core will serve as my precaution. Better? You are telling the truth. Truth is singular. I will grant you the Codex. You are not questioning my motives? You are truthful. Therefore, you are just. I can see why this civilization might extinct. Well, I won't complain, shall we? Yeah. So as long as you are truthful, it doesn't matter, man. Uh, truth prevails, right? Uh, can't say that was the best outcome we wanted, but whatever, it is what it is. Alright, so it looks like we are more than halfway through already. And yeah, stay tuned to the next episode to find out what happens next. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more of such future content, see you next time. I'm your host, Corban Gaming. Peace out.